Using less gasoline helps your budget and the environment. That's right. Dave Malkoff shows us some of the newest generation of cars designed to go much further on a gallon of gas than your parents' station wagon ever did. Okay, first of all, I got to ask, why am I not driving this $100,000 vehicle? Because I'm the one who's insured. Okay. <laughs> the Tesla SP85 is expensive, not just because it has those cool robotic door handles. This fast sports car uses okay. no gasoline. You can go 120 miles an hour with basically a cell phone or laptop type battery power. We got an awful lot of lithium ion batteries. Consumer Reports owns the Tesla, and on this rainy New York day, diesel Volkswagen and diesel Mercedes. This right here. Eric Everts and his team are showcasing the latest fuel efficient cars. They'll get like 30% better fuel economy than an equivalent gas car. According to AAA, last week's nationwide gas average was more than 30 cents cheaper than the average gallon of diesel. The extra price of diesel fuel will be counteracted by the how long this thing lasts. Gas. Fully electric cars like Nissan's Leaf and the brand new all-electric smart car are setting a new fuel standard across the country. The electric powertrain actually makes it way nicer than any of the gas ones. By the middle of the next decade, the cars and trucks we buy will go twice as far on a gallon of gas. The Obama administration wants all vehicles on the road to get 40 miles per gallon on the window sticker or better by 2025. Those standards... David Strickland heads up the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA. From what you're seeing from manufacturers, are they going to reach the benchmark that you and Washington want them to? We are very confident they are. Plug-in hybrids are a first step. So let me understand this. The gas fuels the generator, right. the generator fuels the motor, and that's what makes the car go. That's right. So the gas never makes the car go, directly. Yes. Fuel cell cars are just two years away from commercial reality. This is ultimately the future where all this is going. But they need hydrogen to make electricity. You take hydrogen from natural gas. But that's a fossil fuel as well. Which is also a fossil fuel, but is becoming more plentiful in this country. Because of fracking because of fracking. There are no easy solutions to this country's energy problems, but a world that uses less fossil fuel will be here faster than you may think. And the way to do that is with electric cars. In Yonkers, New York, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel.